All right, welcome back to Thea the Awakening. We are going to finish what we've started. Not a resolve. Hmm, what's that? Uh, it might be good. Compared to what our Striga is using currently. Eight. Yeah, that's better. All right. Now, guys, which way is the best way to... Okay. That way. <laughs> um, why is that button not working, apparently? Oh, there they are. Keep doing your things. Okay. Next. Yep. Do you want to make sure I have seven food when I get to the giants? Or, I mean, that I want to have ten food when I get to the giants. Because I want as much bonus as I can get. <sighs> Craft. You cannot craft that anymore, huh? Because you're out of fish. Well. Hmm. I don't know what to tell you. I do not know what to tell you. What was I thinking about construction? constructing earlier? Um, interesting, we could actually do... Uh, well, we can't. We could try doing this. That's really interesting. That just attracts children. Still can't get over that. Four. Seven. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, let's go for it. Give us a bunch of research. All right, there we go. Next. All right, guys. What we got here? There we go. Next. Let them come. Seriously, you guys aren't going to attack me? Well, I'm going to attack you. Stop here and maybe grab some fruit just to bolster our food variety. Okay. Next, what you guys complaining about? I think you're fine. Next turn. Oh, it's just you guys. Alright. 
an atom. We're almost there. Yeah. Just walk through them. Sickness. Oh, good. That will actually be a bit helpful. So, who's got a blunt... You have a blunt weapon, but you've already got that equipped. I will give you that. Hmm, gathering. You can have that. Dwarf, you're fine. Can you... No. There you go. What's over here? Some mushrooms there. Let's go ahead and grab those, too. A lot of baddies over here. Just grab a bunch of mushrooms. Alright. Stop screwing around. Next. Alright. Really... How are you guys out of food already? How can you be... Oh, there. That's why. Okay. That's annoying. Well, here we are. This is it. The giant's return. In we go. Perhaps never to return. You approach the lair of the Umbridge Lord, and it is suitably steeped in grim darkness and stale, musty air. In an underground chamber stands a large figure, barely humanoid, made of pure darkness. Approach the Umbridge Lord. The weatherer appears at your side, ready to assist you. The two giants stare at each other, but say nothing. Hmm. How do I feel about my social abilities? Not the greatest. Yeah. No point talking, time to kill this creature. All right. Here we go. Weatherer. I need you to get in there quick and do some damage. My next highest damage is the dwarf. My next highest amount of damage is definitely Chabor. Okay. Next. That counter offense is going to do nada. Alright. Ooh, it's a hard one. to be able to do enough damage to kill the Umbridge Lord, but unlikely. Next highest damage is the Orc Matriarch. 
followed by the Lamira. Next, <laughs> Mardis Love. Do your best, buddy. Okay. Put him up front. Okay. Put you up front. Definitely want to put you into attack. Let's go ahead and do. Oh, we're gonna have to pass. All right. Get closer. And get closer. Alright, next. Okay. Let's do first action on him. Now, let's go ahead and just let that last tactic card go out. Okay. Alright, buddy. You're going in to take one for the team. As are probably you. And very likely you as well. All right, let's see what happens. Uh, yes, we're done. Hmm, good. It's actually kind of good. It won't kill the uh, Umbridge Lord, but... That's okay. Got two bad guys out of the way. No, that's the wrong one. Okay. We got this. I'm telling you. We got this. All right. Next. Okay. You ain't got nothing, bra. Alright, in you go. 
yeah, crummy crow. And you can go into. And you. And you. And you. And you. Let's just support all our allies. Whoops. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. You have slain the Umbridge Lord, and you see the darkness disappear in the depths of the earth. The weatherer speaks. Good work, my little friends. Now the giants will not disappear overnight, nor will their damage heal quickly. But in time, I will guide my flock back into their natural slumber. I can now direct the power lingering from the Umbridge Lord and shape it into one boon for you. Choose your reward. I can form a chasm in the ground whence you will find an abundance of precious stones such as diamonds and moonstones. It will not stay forever, but it will provide well. Or I can use the essence of the shadow to bolster some of your people's strength permanently. Alright, what is that? Interesting. Falling Comet. And... Okay, that's kind of a... Dinky weapon. Mm, that's fine. Um... Mm, we would like to grow stronger and then watch a bunch Good. of my people die. I hope this will help you fight on. Good luck to you, little ones. And to you as well. Thanks for the help. Bye. Booyah. Alright, get these achievements out of my way. Alright, so we have made it to level 4. Um, We'll keep playing for just a little bit. Alright. And uh, let's camp and see if our people die. Because I'm sure that they probably will. So, who was saying I should have given up? No, no, never. Yeah, who cares? Who cares what we gather? All right, let's see who dies. Oh, the orc heal. matriarch died. Can claim its prize. Someone will join. Yeah, yeah. All right, again. Oh, and that's it. All right. Well, there we have it. We've won the game, I guess. <laughs> um, let's see. We're not going to get to a thousand quickly. I was hoping maybe I could make it to level five um, with Morena, but yeah, got a lot of points yet to go to get to. Or are we only level? What are we, level three? Is that what level we made it to? Let's try it again. Okay, current score, one, two, three. Oh, we only made it to level three. Okay, well, that's fine. Um, hmm, at 175%. I don't know if I would feel comfortable doing godlike on just level three of Morena, but, uh, yeah. Let's see how many points we can get in just a few seconds. So we can't do anything there. Let's just, I guess, camp, gather. Just gather some stuff. All right, let's go back to our village, craft, um, are you guys still... No, you finished that. Good, good. Uh, let's see what's going to give us a whole bunch of research. Um, probably this. And then... There we go. 
Just make as many of those as we can. How much research again is that? I don't know. We'll just make a few of those. Alright. Take a turn. And we'll clear out this unliving nest. X, sure. Auto resolve. Good. It's 4 XP. And sickness. Yeah, auto resolve. Okay. Go over here. Okay. Yeah, and there we made a thingamajig. Alright. Uh, sure, social. Auto resolve. Oh, look at that. We got some fruit pie. Good. Ooh, that's a nice spear, too, isn't it? That's yeah, not bad. Let's kill these guys. Hex. Yep. Good. Did it. So, yeah, this is just a little experiment to see how much. Oh. Um. Hmm. I don't know. Let's make the totem. Craft. Let's not craft that. Let's... Oh, no. Village overview. Well, what do we not want? Guess we don't want that cabbage patch field. Construction. Totem. Okay, and then that, and then um, that. All right, there we go. Let's just make a totem real quick. Okay. How are we doing over here? Next. Hunting, hunt, auto resolve, good. Oh, we got some food. Nice. Let's let's do hunting again. Uh, didn't give us food that time. All right. And hunting, hunting, hunting. Okay, good. Next. Ooh, there we go. Kill these spiders and stuff. Hunt, hunt, hunt. Okay, good. Can we attack that guy? No. Oh, but we can get some uh, wicker. Takes forever, but we can get it. Okay. I guess we get some meat, too. There we go. Alright. Next. You guys gonna attack me or not? I guess not. Alright. Uh, hex. There we go. Okay. You see the skies darken and the air getting heavy. The wind picks up and Try thunder to. strikes. Strangely, this seems to happen only around you, as you see clear skies up ahead. Thunder and storms are the domain of Perun. Try to figure out what is going on. You realize very quickly that you must have stumbled upon a territory claimed by the wind demons, the Vili. Known for their territorial instincts, the Vili do not like intruders and rarely take time to discuss the matter. Indeed, you now see several winged creatures circling you among the dark clouds. These are clearly wind demons. Try to use magic to banish them. You know the right ritual to banish such demons, so you can try to perform it quickly. Begin the ritual. The ritual worked, and the Vili shriek in pain awesome. and run away from you. One of them is struck by the magic so badly that she turns into a pile of precious stones that fall beneath your feet. Good. 
Next. Hey, we leveled up. Okay. Let's head up here. Next. Well, look at these. We built that thing yet? Some of you fall ill with food poisoning. If you only had a chance, some charcoal to cleanse the gut. Uh, you don't have coal. You do have some coal and a medic. Things may not be so bad. Yay. One more turn, then we'll have it. Alright. Let's go visit the babies. I don't think anything different will happen, but... We can just do it anyway. Oh, and let's go ahead and equip. Alright. So what did we unequip? Actually, nothing that consequential. Uh, go ahead. Yeah, it doesn't seem that consequential, actually. All right, babies. You approach the place where you left the giant babies. And them some the food. babies throw you some rocks in thanks as they eat the food. Good, gather the rocks. Okay. All right, and now we can only move five because we'd be running out of food. What do you want to craft now? Hmm? Some bone axes. Yeah, sure. Okay, next. This really is easier than, <laughs> than godlike. Um, I firmly believed it would be, uh, at least by the time we got to the planet Nick stage. Uh, where are we out of food? Oh, you guys? You guys out of food, huh? That sucks. That really sucks. Let's just get you home, okay? See if we can get you home without starving. We're home, we did it! Before you is a group of black wolves Almost. attacking something. As you, you see that the child is clearly protected by Split some... Split your party in two. Attack. Auto resolve. Ooh, what's that? Porridge. Hmm. Interesting. Check how the child it was and cat not are. easy, but both cat and child are fine. The cat's eyes shine gold, and you could swear it smiles at you. You feel a surge of positive energy. Take the child and leave. All right, guys, we're home. Almost. In Peyrun's name, enter the storm with pride. Find cover and hope Perun's wrath passes quickly. Okay, did not. <laughs> We're home. 23 of us. Alright, well, that is going to do it. Let's check our score now. See if it made much difference. A little bit. So, there you go. That is Thea the Awakening at... Uh, difficult, 175%. Uh, 
Uh, we met our victory conditions, finished the God's qu duty quest, finished the giant's quest, scouted a whole bunch of hexes, uh, experience points, got to 160. Uh, rarest item was the cabbage field, that was 27 points. Yeah, recipes researched, turn survived. Yeah, the best thing to do to level up, I think, is just to continue, you know, meeting the victory conditions and so forth, so. Uh, anyway, we got 1,070, and are we level 4 or are we level 3? I don't know. Let's find out. Okay. End the game. This will end the current game, and you will see the summary of your efforts. After this, there's no going back. And so you have learnt that the cosmic tree was destroyed by man, and with it burned the cosmic balance in Thea. As a result, the darkness took its cold grip upon the world. But you have also learnt that not all is as simple as it seems. Upon hearing the plea of the night children, all those who were long ago deemed dark and undesirable, you understood that it was time for a new Thea, one that would no longer draw a line between its peoples, at least not one based on their tolerance for sunshine. And so you have aligned yourself with these night rebels to maintain the dusk, a state between absolute darkness and the return of the light, and together you will forge a new destiny for mankind. Upon finding the last remaining hope, the seed of the cosmic tree, you bested the master trickster's may and took the seed from his clutches. You then hid the seed in an enchanted box to be kept safe and untouched for eternity. In the centuries to come, the transition will not be an easy one. Many creatures that rely on the sun's power for life will perish. <clears throat> Perished? Perish, yes. But more of them will simply change, evolve into something new. The Elder Ones, Elves, will take the brunt of the change, and their kind will dwindle and wither away until they become but a whisper. And yet, despite much loss, those who will choose to fight on, to adapt and accept the changes, those survivors shall thrive and become a new force in Thea. None of the peoples of Thea will remain unchanged, and so a new world will be born, but one that will become the master of the darkness and not its victim. Your village will continue to thrive and grow. It will meet with many trials and tribulations, but whatever becomes of it, you have secured the future of Thea and of mankind. You guided your people to solve the mystery of your own divine fate and discover how your godly powers were assaulted. You found the culprits, the scholars from the Grand University of Cracovia, arrogant enough to challenge the Pantheon, and you learnt of their mad plan to strip away divine influence from Thea. Your worshippers were brave and worthy enough to face many challenges in your name and prove themselves true champions of the Pantheon. Your champions chose to challenge tradition and reshape the face of the Pantheon. You will now claim your place as the only, the supreme deity of the new Pantheon, and you will guide your divine family and your worshippers into a new era. In their mortal existence, your champions will likely not bear witness to your full rebirth, but in time, the Pantheon will stand anew, and you will take your rightful new place on the throne. The fate of Thea may yet change. Humanity's path will take its twists and turns, but thanks to your brave champions, you will have the power to help your people along the way, whatever road they choose. The return of the giants. In the old days, the giants hummed their everlasting song of life, and thus they gave their power to Thea, shaping the mountains, the rivers, and all lands. Gentle and wise, the builders walked the lands in peace until came the time of the little folk. The ancient wondrous creatures became a danger for their smaller kin, and so, with the aid of elder forces, the giants began their eternal slumber. In the state of ever dreaming, their song of life would continue to keep Thea whole, but also keep the little ones safe. Alas, when the pillars of the world fell, and the cosmic tree burnt, all the laws of Thea crumbled into pieces. During the long night, the darkness devoured the lands and extinguished almost all life before the miraculous return of the sun. But unknown to anyone, it also seeped into the dreams of the giants, slowly corrupting their hearts, minds, and souls. Thus the Umbridge Lord, a creature of pure chaos and destruction, was born and awakened to wreck devastation onto Thea once more. Even after the sun's return, even if the cosmic tree's power was restored, the rise of the giants could undo it all and thrust the lands right back into despair. Just as the Song of Life once gave peace to Thea, so it now had the power to shatter it into pieces. But you, a deity, sworn to protect your people, you stood up to the growing darkness and you guided your followers to face the Umbridge Lord and his shadow, minion shadow minions. As ever, the future remained unclear. Who knows what dangers still lurk behind the veil. But for now, the giants have been tamed once more, and with a bit of luck, you'll survive long enough for them to fall into slumber once more. Alright. So let's go ahead and check out. So, Morena is... Okay, we did make it to level 4. So, yeah, all we need is a thousand more experience points to get her at max. 
So, we started out at level 1. Now, if we start a new game, uh, all of our villagers will get plus 2 bonus to folklore and plus 3 to animal kinship. Uh, and we have advanced education. All your villagers get plus 1 bonus to medic and plus 2 to tactics. Okay, that's good. The pen, mightier than the sword. You receive 6 basic gadgets to aid you in your struggles. That's interesting. And through wisdom to victory. Start with 2 additional advancement points. Hmm... Two additional advancement points. Is that science points? That's interesting. Or advancement points, as in, like, your villagers are leveled up twice. That's probably what it is. That's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's it. That's Morena. And, uh, yeah, next time when I play, we'll probably just go up to Godlike. And that should be more than enough to push us over a thousand experience to get here. I think it took us a thousand experience to get to level four. And now, um... It's a thousand more experience to get from level four to level five, I believe. So, and these are the other ones we have unlocked. So I could do these guys again. Uh, difficult was a bit easy. Uh, yeah, like uh, I'm used to on Godlike playing a level five god on Godlike, having no room for error. And there were a lot of errors made at level one on just difficult. So I don't know. Uh, I don't know if it was just I was very lucky or what I feel like is there's a huge difference between difficult and uh, godlike. Like, just, well, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, I feel like it's very, very difficult. Um, what's the world progression? Truthia? Man, it felt like the pacing was slower on difficult as well. But, I mean, the turns didn't seem too extreme. Like, by turn 300, you know, like, some games can go to a thousand turns. But, anyway, that's the the Awakening. I will come back and play this game again if you have any suggestions or requests or comments about what to do. Let me know. I could play Morena at level 4. I could try playing these guys at level 1. Maybe I'll bump the... I'm not going to go to godlike difficulty at level 1. But, um, maybe I could play one of these guys at a different custom difficulty that's a little bit harder than difficult but uh, anyway that's it for now thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed the series and i'll talk to you next time till then bye bye